Hello, welcome to Fridge Cow. If you eat food, then I'm pretty confident this is the show for you. Coming up in our fridge today... Barry takes the humble avocado and then takes guacamole a whole level up. And James shows us how to take an avocado and turn it into an egg cup. But, but first... We attempt to actually review some kitchen gadgets. Or like properly. Oh, we'll see. Ben picked this because it's silicon, number one. Number two, it's got ships on it. Ships. Okay, I, I honestly have no idea what that could be. These are the fun steamship lids. There's three different sizes, which means they universally fit any pan you'll have in the kitchen. Made of silicon, easy to wash, easy to store and stack. Both fun and functional. Look at the steam. I can see why that's useful. They stack. Yeah, they stack like that. So they're not going to take up any room. Yeah, I, I'd say that's quite useful. It's a tablet. Oh, it's soft. Is it? It's like, a, it's like two lids put together. It's like two lids of lunchbox put together, but with no space for your lunch. Is it one of those things you put your face against? Nope. Now for the complete food skin. This is reinventing the lunchbox. Ever got that perfectly assembled sandwich and you want to get it to lunch in one piece? This is for you. Not only has it got strong elastic skin that folds and traps the sandwich in place, it's also really easy to wash because the whole thing goes in the dishwasher. So it actually is a lunchbox. So I'm guessing it holds everything together. Look, sandwich. So you can, you can move it around, gets thrown around on the train, on the bus, gets dropped on the floor, the bullies come along and throw your lunchbox. You pick it up, you get to school. Now who's laughing? Who's got a perfectly formed sandwich? That is a really good sandwich and I quite like the lunchbox as well. Wait a minute. It's not a lunchbox, is it? It's a lunch flap. Uh, you missed out the bottom bit of the mixer, mate. Just put that on there. Oh no, hang on a second. It's like a reverse measuring jug. So you put stuff in it. So say you've got lots of liquid to go in something, but then you only want to put bits and pieces in at a time. This is the portioning jug, perfect for any kind of liquids, sauces or batters. If you want a drip-free portioning of cake batter, Yorkshire batter, pancake batter or gravy, then this is for you because the easy grip handle gives you complete control. Ah, so we filled it with gravy and suddenly... No drips. It's like a jug, but better. Barry and Ben, stop friends. I don't like the VR. Try so hard. <laughs> is Ben just that short or is everybody else just really tall? Don't take offence. I understand. I'm five foot two. <laughs> Mr. Jamie and his pale, pale self would make for one flabby vampire. Keep up the good work, guys. Love the workout. I swear, if one more person puts goddamn creme fraiche into their goddamn scrambled eggs, I'm going to kill myself. It's a rolling pin. Also, doubles up for me as a handy Wait. The adjustable rolling pin. Like any rolling pin, it's got a smooth wooden surface so you can roll out just about anything. Shortbread, pastry, you name it, it will go. But what's great is it gives you the perfect even roll every time because of the adjustable pins at either end. You can go from anywhere between 10 mil down to two mil. Four millimeters we'll go for. And that is pretty good. I've never rolled pastry that flat before. Usually it's all like this. Yeah. I think I like that. I know exactly what this is because I really, really want one. This is a 
compartmentalized frying pan made famous off of Tom Daly, off of Instagram, off of this video. And you can make an entire full English fry up at the same time without having to use a million pots and pans. Am I right? This is the master pan. Why use five pans when you can use one? If you struggle to multitask, then this is the pan for you. Whether you're making a full English breakfast, fajitas, or a dish like salmon with loads of different sides, it's all in the same place. Not only does it evenly distribute the heat, but it's easy to clean too. I don't know which one's my favorite. I like this one. I'm having this one. Baz, you can have the salmon, but I'll take this <laughs> with the rest of the stuff I do. Don't, I can't believe I'm doing this. He wants a lunchbox, isn't he? I want the lunchbox. You want the lunchbox? Box. Well, the lunch it's, box. Not, it's a lunch flap. <laughs> <laughs> if you want us to review any kitchen gadgets, comment down below, let us know which ones we should do, and we will do as good a job as we've just done. A great job. If oh, not, there's another one, there's a little one. <laughs> Can I have these? Yeah. Right, they're yours. I'm going to have lunch. Okay, fair. My problem is, I don't get out of the house before I eat my lunch, so this is actually not that useful for me. Yeah. Welcome to Level Up, where we take an everyday dish and bring it a level up. Level up. Level up. Because we're not chefs. We're normal. Today we're making guacamole, and all you're gonna need is a board, a knife, a spoon, and these ingredients. First up, get yourself a red onion. This could be a miniature one like this one, or get yourself a normal sized one, but use half of it. Chop that up nice and finely, and then put it up to the side. Can I even peel it? Nope. <laughs> then do the exact same with a red chilli. Next up. Coriander. Yes. Cilantro. Roughly chop everything, basically. But now for your avocado. Halve them, de-stone them, and scoop out the flesh. Then you want to roughly chop up the avocado. This bit is as much for the theatre as it is for the guacamole. The main thing about this technique is it makes you look like a boss. Even though what I'm doing is just smashing it up, yeah. it looks like what I'm doing. You so you're levelling up guacamole and your ego. Once you're smushed up, you want to combine all your bits and pieces. Barry's a guy that understands flavour. <laughs> your type of flavour. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> Create a little well in the middle. Then you want to salt, go for a whole lime. And then in that well again, a splash of olive oil. Okay. Wow. Then you want to fold back in, and don't let the olive oil run away. We've got a nice chunky, maybe too chunky. Oh, i got chilli in my eye. <laughs> yeah, front row seat for this is not yeah, this theatre experience, yeah. normally you get spat on at the theatre, <laughs> instead you get chilli in the face. Once you've brought that all into the middle, here are your chips. Yes. And we'll just stuff them in. Oh, nice. And that is how you take guacamole a level up. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. That is very good, mate. Back to the fridge. Not until these are gone. Okay. <laughs> that honestly was an award-winning, truly holy guacamole. It went up several levels. And we want to know from you what simple, very, very basic things we should level up next time. Uh, make sure you subscribe because like today, we will make you hungry. But you know what, Jay? I think that fridge cam had everything. It had, I'm going to say it again, the world's best guacamole I've ever tasted. It had some fun and for once functional kitchen gadgets. And if you stay with us, James is going to show us how to turn an avocado into an egg cup without getting out his magic wand and without using any camera trickery. Want to know how? Follow us into the aftertaste. I'm intrigued. Goodbye. Genuinely intrigued, James. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, me too. Yeah. Come you... and do a recipe lab with me. Oh, <laughs> is this also an experiment? <laughs> we'll see.